Okay, I'm going to uh, work on the uh, figure, uh, block in his legs. I'm not going to do a lot, just blocking him in so I can mount him on the horse, and that way I can line up the uh, uh, stirrups, the uh, tapaderos that are going to be on the saddle, um, with his uh, feet and have it in the right position for the position he's going to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I've got the... Uh, legs of the mountain man roughed in now i'm going to uh, kind of line him up with the uh, horn of the saddle i want to have his back bent back a little bit Yeah, there we go. All right, what I got to do is put the cinch on first. I'm going to do that right now. All right, I've got this uh, piece of clay. I'm going to run it through my pasta machine to flatten it out and make a, a flat piece of clay that I can make a... Uh, a belly cinch uh, for the saddle. This is the POS machine I use. And as you can see, it comes out nice and evenly flat. Well, you can't see because I got my hand in the way. Enough. Okay, well, I'm going to make the rings at either end of the uh, cinch. This is the uh, handle that I was uh, making the rings on. And this way I get all the rings the same diameter now I just got to draw out the uh, shape of this inch Okay, the uh, cinch is made up of uh, cords of cotton, I think, is cotton. So I've got to uh, try to get that indicated. I'm using a tool with a serrated edge. You can get these metal tools from Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. I'll put them. And uh, she sells, or they sell, everything you need for uh, sculpting. Everything. Resin, whatever. Now I'm going to put this uh, across the center. <sighs> I'll 
Okay, there we go. There's the uh, cinch. Now I'm put it back on the horse. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, I gotta lift that up and lift that up. I don't know why I'm going through this extreme on everything because quite honestly it's more than likely going to be covered by the bare skin but you just never know so you do everything you can to make it look good and accurate okay I got both stirrups uh, uh, where they're going to attach onto the uh, stirrup straps uh, lined up so that they're even and I measured it out for the amount of man that's going to go on it Whew. it's just taking so long to do this I gotta soften up my clay and I'll do that tomorrow Cause I'm gonna, I'm just running out of time right now to stay. Well, I'll figure that out tomorrow. Right now, I'm just uh, getting tired, <laughs> and he's not working out too good right now. So I'll come back tomorrow and take a better look at it. I'm gonna call it quits. Now, this is just getting to the uh, point where I want to tear my hair out but I'm gonna come back tomorrow look at it with new eyes and uh, see where we go from here all right good night everybody see you next time if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.